right. Good evening to you. Good to see you this evening. Had a beautiful day today. Had a great day this morning, did we not? Had a big crowd. Had a lot of people outside, and so it was a, it was a good time. Let me share with you a couple of things. Uh, first of all, this month of February, we're, uh, and this morning, the reason I preached on missions and stuff is the our WMU, I'm so appreciative of all this WMU. I've, I've worked with WMU since way back in the, in the 80s, and uh, what a wonderful auxiliary of the Southern Baptist Convention. Uh, began back in 1888, and they certainly do a lot of wonderful things here at this church, so I'm so uh, thankful for our WMU, and uh, thank you, WMU ladies, for the gift that you have given us after church this morning. I thought that was nice. And all the classes, I've got my seeds packet of seed they put in there where we are to sow the seed and a uh, young lady's name that I'm going to pray for this week and today is that girl's birthday uh, as well. So uh, what a wonderful gesture uh, for that. But I'm glad you're here tonight. Uh, just a couple of things. Our men's ministry in the morning. Uh, we'll start getting together around 8 o'clock or so and, and uh, have our Bible study time from 8.30 usually till about 15 after 9, so if you're free during that time, you, you will certainly enjoy your time with us. We have a good time together, and uh, we invite you to come be a part of that. Tuesday was our ladies' uh, ministry. They meet at 10 o'clock uh, on uh, Tuesday morning, and then, uh, of course, Wednesday night, we have Awana, and we have our youth, and Amplify, and all that going on here. It's an exciting time around this place. And then Thursday morning, now, we have a women's Bible study uh, at 10 o'clock. And I think, uh, I think you would enjoy that. Some of you ladies, if you're free at 10 o'clock on Thursday, come and be a part of their time uh, together. So we got a lot of stuff going on, that's for sure, and that's the way we like it. We're moving into springtime here, and it uh, won't be long. And so we're looking for some, some good days ahead is what we're looking for. All right, I think that covers about all of the announcements that we've got, but I'm glad you're here tonight. We had a great crowd this morning, had several visitors, and uh, just a good... Uh, good service. All right, Chad, come if you would and lead us, please. Well, good evening. Let's all stand. We sing all three stands of the lily of the valley. I found a friend in Jesus. I have found a friend in Jesus. He's everything to me. He's the fairest mountain thousand to my soul. seated as we go to the Lord in prayer. Let me share with you some folks. Uh, Brenda uh, is doing some better. She's eating now some, thank goodness, uh, but she's, uh, according to the doctor, she's got a long ways to go. And uh, so uh, remember her. Thank you for all the expressions of love that you've extended to us. Uh, uh, they're greatly appreciated. So we pray for better days. 
uh, Vernon Barton called me just before the service and uh, said his sister had passed away, uh, Doris. Uh, I remember her from the time we were, Vernon and I used to run together when we were young boys, and I remember his sisters, and so I'll be doing that graveside sometime this week for him. But he also shared with me that Jody is uh, really, really sick with what's going on. Uh, so is Tina and Toby. I texted her just before I came here, and and she's not much better. It's pretty vicious, and uh, that's for sure, because I had it too. So uh, we need to remember uh, those folks uh, when we pray. Taylor Frederick, uh, also uh, in our prayers. Uh, and every day, remember every day when you pray, to pray for Glenn Baker. Uh, ben, he's just a great guy, and he's cer- certainly having some uh, difficult times. So remember Mary and Otis Baker also, and of course then Jody Barton, uh, Pat Pruitt, uh, Bert Whited, also needs our prayers. Donna Creech, continue to lift her up. Uh, Linda Ferris, uh, Murdith and uh, Amanda Gaddis, uh, both on our prayer ministry. We need to remember them. Wallace Fault, uh, Kinsley Mills, uh, Willard and Jean Pryor. Remember both of those. David Reese uh, also is down on his back. My brother Jack, is he's never had back problems. And all of a sudden now, for some reason, he's having... Uh, uh, some problems with his back, uh, his pinched nerves, so uh, let's hope he does okay. Uh, Sherry Sams uh, and Marjorie, Marjorie has had the shingles, and she said they were on the inside of her body instead of the outside, and she said it's absolutely been horrible. So remember, remember uh, uh, Margie, if you would, Sherry's mom, and also remember uh, Sherry when you pray. Um, Evan Tate certainly needs our prayers every day. I'll check on him tomorrow. Uh, he's in the health care facility, so let's uh, remember him. Uh, also, uh, Angela Murphy got a good report again, and so we rejoice with that and pray for good days ahead for her. Uh, Andrea Robinson uh, had her baby in uh, Lexington, and we rejoice with that, and hopefully her and the child will be good and, uh, and have good days ahead. Also, Carrie Ann Hamlin, a uh, young lady that, uh, uh, that's in really need of prayer. She's at UK, so we need to remember her. This is uh, Tammy and Sheila's uh, niece, their younger sister's daughter. So we need to remember her and pray for good days ahead. Joanne Gregory, many of you know Phil and Joanne Gregory. Remember Joanne, or oh, remember both of them, especially uh, Joanne. Calvin Hibbard, preacher Calvin Hibbard needs prayers. Uh, Vernon, uh, Johnny Jervis, uh, also we need to remember him. Uh, as a church family, we need to continue to remember the Smith family, Haley, uh, Harley Smith family, that's his Shelby's brother. With that, uh, his passing, remember his family, and Shannon Fusen, and Marvin Alsop family, and then of course Vernon Barton, uh, remember his family. Kurt Duggar and Phyllis, uh, Kurt's better, they both had COVID, and, uh, but Phyllis is not through it yet, and but he's staying in as a precaution, I guess, uh, because of her. So we need to pray for both of those folks. We miss them certainly when they're not here. They're so faithful. So uh, remember those as well. So we got a lot of people on our prayer uh, ministry and uh, a lot of people who certainly need prayer. So uh, the greatest privilege we have is intercessory prayer as Christians. That's the best thing we can do. All right, Levon, how about leading us in this prayer, would you, brother? Amen. Let's all stand again as we sing all three stanzas. No one ever cared for me like Jesus. I would love to tell you. 